everyone, welcome to our next tutorial. In the last tutorial, we took a look at the repeat until command, and we used the repeat until command to allow our robot to run forward until the touch sensor, this one right here, was pressed. And as soon as that one was pressed, that makes our condition here equal to 1, and that is going to stop our robot from moving forward. Now, what we're going to do in this tutorial is take a look at not just the graphical program or the graphical way to use this software, but we're going to take a look at the text format too. Later on, we're going to be using programs that are text only. They're not going to be drop and drag programs like this one here. So what I want to do this time is... I'm going to make this program just a little more advanced and I want to tell the robot to go forward until either one of these sensors are pressed. And that is what we call a Boolean condition. What we're saying is if this sensor here or this sensor here is pressed, it should stop our robot. Right now in this graphical format, I only have one touch sensor set and I want to say that either one of those pressed so if this hits a wall I want the robot to stop so how do I do that well I'm gonna go up here to view and I'm gonna to go to convert graphical file to text so this is more typically what a program language looks like and what this program looks like is up here we have the configuration of all the sensors so we need the program to tell the sensors what we want for uh, values for instance and we need to also tell the motors what to do for instance motor B I want to make sure that when it runs it actually is running in the reverse direction that's because of the way it's mounted on the robot and motor D I want it going in reverse as well because of the way it's mounted on the robot. So even though I'm telling it's reversed, this way all of the motors are actually running in the forward direction when I tell it to go forward. Down here is the main part of the program and if you notice here is our repeat until command. In other words it will keep running forward at a speed of 50 percent until one of the touch sensor is equal to one and in fact it's this sensor right here but what if I want it to actually stop as well if this one is pressed well like we said that's a boolean condition so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna program in text format so I'm gonna click in here and I know that in this language here the or condition is not the word or it's actually shift backspace twice. So it looks like that. And I'm just going to make sure we have a space there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click and drag here. I'm going to copy all of this code. So I'm going to right click copy and I'm going to copy this code. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste it over here. And what I've done is now I've said repeat until this condition or this condition now I have to change something here because this is touch sensor one that is this one right here touch sensor two is the other one so I need to change this to a two now what this code is saying repeat until either one of these conditions are true so in other words, if this sensor is pressed, it's going to give a value of 1 and stop the robot. Or if this sensor is pressed, that's going to give this sensor a value of 1 and that's going to stop the robot as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this program. And I'm going to compile it. Now, this is where I found out, or will find out, if I have any errors in my code. So I'm going to press compile. And yeah, there is some errors in my code. 
and what it's saying is it's missing some things in the code and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go put in a set of brackets here and I'm gonna put a set of brackets here and I'm gonna press save and I'm gonna try and compile it now and it did actually compile so I was actually missing some brackets here that is something called syntax that is the way in which we type in our programs we cannot leave out certain brackets we have to have things typed in exactly for instance if I would have typed this in here with only one equal sign then our program wouldn't have functioned the way we wanted it to so very important we have the proper syntax when we are programming we type everything in as it should be so now that I've compiled it I'm gonna download it to the robot and it's downloaded with no errors and now I'm gonna go over to the robot and I'm gonna start our program and get it to run so you can see the wheels running now and if I press either one of the sensors, it should stop our robot from running. So if I reach over and touch this one, it stops our robot from running. If I try to run it again, this time I'm going to go to the other sensor. And I'm going to press it. Ah, notice that stopped it as well. So we used the OR condition. In other words, we used some Boolean logic. In fact, writing this in our code here to tell the software that if either one of those sensors is pressed, it will stop our robot from running. So we learned a couple things in this tutorial. We learned that we can actually convert from graphical to text and program inside this format. We also learned about Boolean logic and understanding OR conditions. This is the OR condition for this software programming language. And this way we got our sensors to work properly. That's it for this tutorial. Take care. We'll talk to you soon.